Hello, I'm Dr. Jeff Guten, pain management and addiction medicine specialist and consultant to Quest Diagnostics Drug Monitoring Division. Thanks for taking a few minutes for an update today on telemedicine and prescribing of controlled substances during this novel coronavirus crisis. The DEA oversees controlled substances and their job is basically twofold, to prevent diversion of these drugs, but equally important to ensure an adequate and uninterrupted supply of these medications to patients with legitimate medical needs. The good news is so far the DEA is not aware of any shortages of controlled substances due to the current COVID-19 pandemic. But with this crisis, physician offices have been forced to close or limit patient encounters. This has led to challenges for many patients trying to access their prescription medications. In response, prescribers have been offering patients the option of virtual office visits, either over the internet or by cell phone. Now, usually prescriptions for a Schedule II drug are dependent upon an in-person medical evaluation, but the Controlled Substances Act contains certain exceptions to this requirement. One such exception occurs when the Department of Health and Human Services declares a public health emergency, which happened here in the United States on January 31st, when Secretary Azar declared such an emergency. On March 16th, Health and Human Services determined that the telemedicine allowance applies under this emergency policy to all Schedule II through five controlled substances. Accordingly, as long as this public health emergency remains in effect, all DEA registered practitioners can issue prescriptions for Schedule II through five controlled substances to patients whom they have not conducted an in-person medical evaluation, provided all of the following are met. The prescription is issued for a legitimate medical purpose, acting in the usual course of your practice. The telemedicine communication is used a two-way audiovisual real-time communication system. And of course, the practitioner is acting in accordance with all applicable federal and state laws. Now, provided you satisfy the above requirements, you can issue the prescription using any method currently available, either electronically, or by calling in a Schedule 3 through 5 prescription, or by calling in an emergency Schedule 2 prescription. Here's something else that popped up during the crisis. What if patients on methadone or medication-assisted treatment are quarantined and cannot get out to get their supply of methadone? Well, also pursuant to this same public health emergency, in the event that a patient is quarantined due to the coronavirus, alternative delivery methods have been approved, including doorstep delivery of take-home medications like methadone, but only to the extent that these activities take place during the public health emergency. Now there's other rules like needing a lockbox, so check with your state medical boards about the specifics. Well, we hope you found this information helpful. Remember, Quest Diagnostics has thousands of patient service centers around the country. So even if you are prescribing to patients virtually, it's still a good idea to monitor their medication compliance. We appreciate you letting us come into your home or your practice. Until next time, stay safe and thanks again.